Hello again, we are on a new adventure today, but today I have a different partner in crime that some of you may recognize. Eva! She's been wanting to try out these kayaks, so today we're gonna try out the South Anna River. I've been on this river once before, uh, a long time ago, it was my first ever kayaking trip, and I remember there are some little white water sections that are kind of fun, but nothing bigger than a class of two. Uh, water level's a little high, but um, not dangerously high, so, we're gonna try it out today. We're gonna to see, try to have a good time. Uh, exciting, I got my fishing license renewed for the first time in several years. Um, so I'm gonna to get to fish with Ava, I hope, as long as my gear is still up to par from uh, several years of not being used very frequently. So, um, but that'll give me some information about how I can you know, upgrade the equipment and do that. But let's see what we catch. Let's see if we, uh, let's see what we see and let's have some fun today. Let's put these kayaks together and get on the water. Oh man, this little thing's a little tall. I'm trying to record everything like this, but it's a little bouncy and tall, so we're just trying it out. This new mount. Let's see if I can get off of this thing now. Oh, and my seat just freaking broke. Came undone, whatever. I think we're off. I don't know how well this mount's gonna do. It wants to flex a little bit. Ava's already farther, way farther ahead than me. So let's see if we can catch up a little bit. Yeah, whoa, the freaking chair again. So Ava says she couldn't stop, but I know she could have grabbed one of these branches, but she's up ahead. I think you can see her. She's actually paddling toward me, which is good. My seat, continues to disappoint it's just letting go and the whole back is not standing still uh sitting still for me to lean back on so i need to pull over again but i'm trying to catch up with ava first this is a really nice narrow river um it'd be nice to pull into one of those little inlets or something to like just to fix this darn seat if i can Man, I don't know why it keeps pulling off. It's so weird. But very bad, very poor design in my opinion. So I definitely have to replace these seats. I was hoping I could just get by until I find something else, but I don't know. I'm going to need something, something to upgrade it. I think I figured out how to make the length of the strap okay. But now it's just popping off of the hook, which is terrible. All right, well, there's Ava. Let's get up to her and see what we can do here. Are you on a little beach or something? No. Are you just in a little eddy? No. You didn't look like you were moving. My seat, I need to pull over and get my seat right. It's like it came unclipped and I have no back. So. Oh. I've been trying to get it. Mm 
let me, uh, I gotta find something, man. Next time I see a little bit of shoreline to pull over, I'm gonna... Everything's a high bank. So there's really no place to pull over at the moment to fix this thing. Maybe I could do one of these little like log areas. Yeah, I don't know. It looks kind of muddy. A fly buzzing around my head. I do like these shaded areas. Very nice. Gotta watch those strainers. It brought me right into it. Gosh, the seat, it's like distracting me. And then all of a sudden I gotta react. Not good. Ooh, little hole right here. Oh boy. <laughs> it's been a while. Take some balance. I think we want to get river left over here. And a nice little thing on the other side here. Of course, I can't get to it. Or can I? I don't know, Ava went a little uphill. Maybe I could like swing. I think these are bent up a little bit. I can't figure out any other reason why they would. Be misbehaving like that. <laughs> they're plastic. That's why they're giving. Because I'm too heavy and they're plastic. Okay. Oh, what can we do? It's paracord here. Okay. Okay. 
Hopefully that'll do it. All right. Oh, I have a little bit of a seat now. All right, there we go. All right, let's get going. Let's go find Ava. But we don't know this river very well, so we got to be careful where we're going. Ooh. I felt that into my bum. It's nice to have a little foot thing to push against. I think it does help with the balance a little bit down there. It being this so narrow, there's a lot of strainers in this river like this up here. Sometimes you got to navigate. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to follow off to the left here. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty ugh, white watery up there to the left. Let's go to the right. Since Ava went river right. It's a little tight over here. Glad to see I don't see Ava hung up anywhere. She navigated this okay. Ava down there. That's good. Oh, a little hole here. Whee! Wouldn't it be nice to have a river in your backyard? Spider web. Still pulls to the right. That's going to be a forever thing. This is a nice little area. A skeleton. Firewood, volleyball net. I wonder what this is, Ava. Huh? I wonder what this is. Is this someone's house? Yeah, they got lights up, firewood. You got to stay on your toes with this river, don't you? What? You got to stay on your toes with this river. There's a lot of like trees hanging in and small little rapids. They go going fast. This is a seven mile float and we're going to be done with this in no time at this speed. When we get to flat water again, I'm going to have to check the map, see how far we came. Yeah, you gotta watch. I mean, they just come up on you. Do you know how to run rapids, Ava? Because I think up ahead, like, there's gonna be like class two rapids, which are just like the bigger ones when we go inner tubing. But in a boat, you wanna look for the V's. You know, the nice straight shots and try to line up your point right with those V's. Oh, I'm going to come ram you. What's this? <laughs> Uh-oh. See, you hear it? Yeah. I don't know if this is class twos here or these are, might just be class ones. It's always good sometimes to pull over and go look at them first if you need to. Watch the branch right here. I'm thinking these are just class ones. Point straight, 
point straight down. You want to keep pointing straight all the time. Okay. Otherwise it could flip you. Watch the rock right there. Rock. Do you have your phone in something that'll float? Uh, this is like more adventure than I was thinking, but it's kind of fun. All right, there's a rock up here to the right, sticking up. <laughs> Ooh, you gotta really watch out man there's some rocks you could bump pretty badly you always want to avoid those i think to the left looks better i don't know what do you think okay Your nose, nose pointed forward. Woo! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> you got it. Oh. Woo! <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Look at that water. Once we get out in this open, we could use the bilge pump to get rid of some of the water. I don't know, these, these sponges aren't super absorbent, but I, mean, I guess they could work, but not very well. Now that's my kind of rapid right there. <laughs> nice and gentle. Now, Tuck Tech's, uh website says that these boats can take the same as a hard shell because of how thick this plastic is now of course because of the folding nature of it i don't think anything past a class one two is smart so there's nothing there shouldn't be anything above that on this river but i don't know like even hitting it up a rock like that makes me nervous Hey, Ava, we're about halfway there. Okay. And you look down for a second, you end up in the trees. <laughs> Whoa.
There's a rock right here. There's a lot of wildlife jumping off the sides here into the water. And when you just float for a while without paddling, this river wants to take you right all the time. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> seat is like starting to like lean me back too much again. Ugh. Gotta replace it. Gotta replace it. I was shopping for some on Amazon, but nothing really jumped out at me as like, oh, that's the one. But something's gotta give the seat. Maybe I'll just leave it out and like play with it a little bit. To see if I can't MacGyver it into something. All right, hot shot. So you got a golden palomino between your knees and no rings. Now what? I don't know. But right now it's pretty bad. Like when you can't like lean back and you have to like sit up the whole time. God, it's just uncomfortable. Watch the branch ahead of you. She gets her head down in her phone. Bless you. Bless you again. Any more, we'd have to call a priest. Since we are going so fast, maybe we could find a place like, that would be nice to take a break. Do you, would you want to take a break? I just wouldn't mind adjusting the seat again. Cause it's like starting to like give back too far. Makes it hard because I have nothing to like balance myself against when I go over rapids. If I don't have like a back I, and I just, foot. I just go crisscross applesauce. It's more like... Yeah, well, you've got young, flexible legs. Or any time I'm weak in the knees. I'm going to try this little bank here, Ava, just to fix my uh, seat. I guess today I'm a tree hugger. I'll hug this tree. Uh -huh. Hello, tree. I've been looking for you for so long. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. But it's really not great. But I don't know what else to do. I mean, if I could get to a shore and take it out and figure it out that way, it's gonna take me forever here. I don't know, I think we're probably fine. I think we're probably fine too. Do you see a place to cross? I think we can go under the fence right there. There's no low. If we go. Why don't you just go and check? I don't need to go too. All right. Hopefully these guys are okay with us just trying to be safe. Big holes right near the rock.
nice and calm to the right but i don't know i think we're gonna go hug to the right and see how far down we can get without getting in this stuff and if we have to we could sort of cut over at the end all right i think that's gonna be the plan is try to be as gentle as possible Yep, they're still here. That's a good sign. Yeah, and if there's anything on your boat that could uh, go overboard, if you flip, you should probably make sure it's uh, strapped down or on something that floats. See how it's like so calm to the right? That hole is right near that rock right there. Oh my, I think I'm beached. I'm like spinning. I wonder if I can back off of it. There's a lot of little rocks right here. You could probably squeeze right there. I don't know. Oh, you're gonna ram me. What do you want me to do? I don't know. All right. We go that way or what? Yeah, I think we have to. There's gonna be a little shelf right there, but I don't see any other way around it. I was hoping we could go back there, but I don't think we can. Backwards, I don't know. Ava made it okay. See what we got. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention on that one.
get down there. That way, if there's a problem, we can help out. They're loud, but they're not rough. Oh man, Ava's going sideways, I don't like that. You know, there's a certain creek that people sometimes canoe up without a paddle. You could say that the Duke boys were on that particular creek right now. I think it's draining, so I think I'm okay.
Okay. I'm ready. Okay. As far as I know, I didn't lose anything. Oh, if there's a bigger one than that, I'm skipping it. Man. Hopefully Ava fared okay. She didn't hit that rock. Something like that happened for her. Man. She's a little bit more agile. Oh boy. Now I gotta find Ava. I took a while on that rock. Who knows how far she made it. That was a little precarious. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't lose anything. The way that boat filled up with water. I mean, most of the stuff I have strapped down, but... The white bucket floated away, but... Fortunately, I've got that back. I may have lost my water actually now that I'm thinking about it that's the only thing that wasn't strapped down I didn't see it anywhere I'm gonna try to speedy Gonzalez to her there's my water bottle I think so that's good I know she's beyond that which is she should be beyond that which is good news well, she was only slightly ahead of me at this point where I lost my bottle so she shouldn't be too far ahead I've been paddling for a little while and I still haven't caught up to Ava can't blame her too much this was a little bit more rapidy high water adventure than I was hoping for But hopefully we catch up to her soon. I haven't seen any evidence of anything bad happening. Unfortunately, we also don't have cell service, so. Life 360 is not helping me locate her either. And I can't call her. I mean, I got into trouble. I just hope she didn't get into trouble or doesn't get into trouble without anybody to help out. I was on that rock for a long time. So it's not completely uh, surprising that she got this far ahead, but I did, when I caught my water bottle, I thought, oh, she must be farther ahead, not too much farther ahead because 
you know, I crashed. I, I think she was in my sights when I crashed. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I hope she's just floating. And not like speeding down for some reason. I don't think she really knows where we're taking out. There she is. I got into some trouble up there. Like I got sideways on a rock and then my boat flipped to the right and then it filled up with water. So it took me a long time to get off that rock. I got stuck on a rock. I had to empty out the boat. Okay. So that reminded me about how dangerous this can be. Uh, so let's try to stay within like eyesight of one another, you know? Because I was like, oh shit, like if you come up and you end up in the same position, I'm not around to help. I didn't notice there's no cell service either. So I was like trying to life 360 you. Hopefully there's cell service when we get there because I gotta call mom for a ride. What's that? Uh, I was gonna pull out my phone to check that. The next road you see is where we're getting out. We're three quarters of the way there. I just got a message, so... Maybe I have cell service? Yeah, I had cell service. Uh oh. Sounds loud. All right, look like just maybe class ones here. I mean, she's so relaxed. I'm like, I don't like white water. I think the way she's low like that makes her nice and stable. I can't feel my left leg I'm sitting in this position. Oh no, where am I going? <laughs> where are you taking me, River? What's that? I'm going fast. I know, it, like it, it dumped me into this eddy where I'm not going fast. And I just like spun out. We got about a mile and a half to go. That's about as much whitewater adventure as I'd want to do in these boats. Yeah. That was a little extreme for me. I, I'm hoping we don't have any more. I'm hoping we're just paddling right out of here, you know? Yeah, I was like, the way you're laying nice and low, it looked like made you very stable. Yeah. But I got sideways on that rock, man, that was scary. <laughs> My whole boat was like filled with water. I was like, I'm surprised I didn't like dunk under, you know? It wasn't deep, so it was like I could stand, but the water was strong, you know?
This is the kind I like. <laughs> It just inflates like really hard so that you can stand on it. Oh, okay. What are these called? These? Yeah. Kayaks. Like, what are they called? Like... Kayaks. Because they're like one person, like skinny longer boats. Yeah. Oh, the, I call them origami kayaks because they fold together. But I guess you could call them foldable kayaks or... I think that's what the website is. The website is Tuck Tech Foldable Kayak. Yeah. You, I've seen people put chairs on their paddleboard so they could sit. But it would be hard to like, there might be like strings that go across the front and back that you could put stuff and clip it on. Someone's having a party. Someone's having a party. I think so, yeah. That's crazy. So if you touch that, you can die? Probably. Yeah. That's a lot of electricity. That is. Rope swing. Yeah, I saw one of those earlier. I hear a car, that means the road's close. Yep, there it is. I'm just happy I have a nice cold monster at the bottom of your cooler bag. Yeah. <laughs> I need it after that stress. I also got lucky that I didn't lose my phone because it was in my pocket. Because it, it had just fallen off of the um, the tripod, so I put it in my pocket real quick, but it was still there when I crashed, so I was like, lucky. I don't see any rapids. So that one that I spilled on, that must have been the big rapid that I remember. I mean, big for an absolute novice like me. Ava probably just went down at like, pfft, whatevs. She's got youth, fitness, and better balance on her side. All right, I'm pretty sure this is where we getting out. Oh yeah, there it is, I see it. I'm in a nice eddy, so you go right ahead. Oh. Goodbye, South Anna. That was an adventure. Oh, there's my prize. There's my prize. Nice and cold from the cooler bag. Hey, look who's here. Was that good timing or was that good timing? How was it? I almost died. <laughs> I think Ava was okay.
Okay, we are all done. I am back at my car. Ava has taken off with Sharon. Probably either because I stink really bad right now <laughs> from paddling that whole, whole river. <laughs> Sharon said she could smell me on outside of the car. She could smell me. So inside of the car must have been terrible, especially with the heat. Disinfect. I have to admit, that was a little bit more adventure than I had planned on today. Uh, some of those rapids in those Tuck Tech kayaks, it was just a little bit too much for me. Ava said she was fine. She was laying down, just lounging. Uh, she was nice and low. She was nice and stable. Um, just, But she didn't get like locked in on any rapids like I did. So I'm a very novice kayaker to begin with um, so after I dumped my boat which I think I got on the video I was just a little bit sketched out about any other white water I heard fortunately there really wasn't anything more after all that but unfortunately I didn't lose anything which again uh, or I didn't get injured, that's another good thing. I got a few scratches on my hands and stuff like that, but... Oh my gosh, I think I broke a nail. I don't know if I would do class 2 rapids on those Tuck Tech kayaks. I felt like it was a little bit much for me. Um, my body weight, every time you hit a rock, it wants to fold. Which a regular kayak would like hit and you'd be fine. But these kayaks hit and they want to like fold up also when I was taking apart the kayak I noticed that the, um, the little clips that hold on had moved so fortunately nothing came undone but I'm gonna have to resolve that if I ever do something with uh, additional rapids if I do the James River float where they say there's class 2 rapids that might be something that I'll either want to scope out and take an easy way around if possible or just uh portage it you know just carry the boat so um yeah something to think about but that adventure everybody survived everybody's in one piece ava broke her fishing pole so now pretty much 100 percent of the fishing poles we own are are not good i got my fishing license i didn't get a chance to fish so Maybe that'll be another weekend's adventure, is we're just going fishing and seeing what we can do. I don't know, to me it's almost not worth it unless I can eat the fish I catch. Um, I, you know, I don't mind doing it for sport, but I don't really want to. I don't mind, I mean, it's like gardening, I don't want to do it. Unless I'm growing vegetables that I can eat, then I'll do it. Um, but, you know, a little bit at a time, we'll... We'll figure it out. We don't know what our next adventure is. We have a few things on our wish list for 2021. I'm hoping that I could get Allie out to do something a little adventurous on 4th of July weekend. Um, but we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see if we can get breakaway and if that, the whole family wants to be together on that long weekend holiday or what, what we can do. So anyway, thanks for coming along on the float with us. We're out. See you later. Folks.